वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ आर्म प्रोसेसर वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट रिस्क डिजाइन फिलोसॉफी माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेन एवर यू सी एनी प्रोसेसर विच इज हैविंग आर्किटेक्चर बेस्ड ऑन रिस्क देन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू शूड नो वॉट इज द डिजाइन फिलोसॉफी विच इज देर बिहाइंड इट लाइक वेन वी टॉक अबाउट आर्म देन दैट इज देर बेस्ड ऑन रिस्क आर्किटेक्चर here my dear students you should understand first what is risk risk means reduced instruction set computer right so here how instruction set that is getting executed by architecture that you need to understand right so once you see this video definitely you will be able to understand how risk design philosophy is there so let us see all those things step by step so my dear students when we talk about risk design then that was initiated mainly for microcontrollers and risk means what it is reduced instruction set computer here my dear students you should know risk is working as per load store model what is the meaning of load store model my dear students load store model means for load and for store we need to execute separate instructions right so here when you want to load data from the memory and when you want to store data onto memory at that time you'll have to execute separate instruction you cannot do load and store in single instruction right here my dear students load store model means what it means that whatever data that you have on the memory that cannot be performed with logical operation on the memory right first of all you'll have to take data from the memory inside processor then you can perform arithmetic and logic operation then you can store that data into memory so you will have to execute three instruction you cannot do arithmetic and logical operation on memory right so what it means it means load store that we need to do by separate instruction right here my dear students when you talk about risk model then you will be observing most of the instructions are there based on resistors so resistor to resistor operation is happening right so here what we do my dear students load store model means we will be taking data of memory into resistor then we perform operation on resistor once we perform operation on resistor we can store data on to memory so load store model along with resistor based instruction means what here usually we will be performing resistor based operations right and because of it is resistor based operation you will be observing performance of risk is very fast right my dear students you will be observing instruction size is almost same for all the instructions right and as instruction size is same for all the instructions you will be observing parallel execution in pipelining will be very efficient see if instruction size is different in that case you will be having more bubbles in pipeline but as if instruction size is same in that case your pipelining will be efficient why the reason is it will be executed in parallel and it is not having any bubble as if instruction size is same right so instruction size matters a lot here with risk architecture most of the instructions are having same size so pipeline will be efficient here my dear students you should know all the instruction performs operation on same size of data right so you will be observing it is mostly based on resistors so size of resistors will be same right so operation will be having same size right so parallel execution that will be more efficient right here my dear students you will be observing that when you implement pipelining at that time we will be bisecting stages right so in most of the cases you will be observing in three stage pipeline fetch decode execute that is how we execute the instruction right so first of all we need to take the opcode of instruction inside processor that is referred as fetch then we need to understand what is the operation of that instruction that will get decoded in decode and after that once we know what has to be done that will get executed by alu in execute frame right so here fetch decode and execute time for most of the instruction is having same standard and as it is having same standard 
you can have very efficient pipelining and this three stage pipeline that is there in arm 70 dmi right and that is very efficient why the reason is instruction size is same this fetch decode execute time is also same that's why in parallel we can have this fetch decode and execute and in parallel as three instructions are there your performance will be fast right here my dear students risk architecture that is supporting very few addressing mode why the reason is it is there based on load and store if you see sysc architecture that is not there based on load and store and because of that it was having many addressing modes but here risk architecture that is having very few addressing modes and as it is having very few addressing modes you can have same size of instructions and that is mostly based on resistors so parallel execution is very easy pipelining will be very effective and it will be having very few addressing mode that you should know my dear students and most of the instructions are there based on resistor so your learning of instruction set that will be even very simpler here in this video lecture series i'll be explaining arm 70 dmi right so i'll be explaining you all the instructions related arm 70 dmi that is also based on risk architecture right here my dear students you should know as most of the instructions are there based on resistor you'll be observing that more resistors are provided with risk architecture for example when we talk about arm 70 dmi in that for user mode you'll be having r0 to r15 in total 16 resistors available for programming right so as you have many resistors for programming your programming will be very easy over here right here my dear students you should know since most instructions are based on resistor it will consume less power and see the main agenda of microcontroller is what embedded system so in embedded system you will be operating your applications by battery so your main concern that should be power consumption right and here our architecture of arm with risk architecture it is based on power consumption right so as it is there based on resistor based model you will be observing it will be consuming very less power during execution of program right here my dear students you should know that most of the risk architecture are scalable right like you will be observing arm is scalable as well as spark is scalable so most of the risk architecture are scalable so whenever it comes to application at that time many companies were scaling this architecture as per the requirement right here my dear students you should know risk processor uses hardware control as it is using hardware control it will be very efficient in terms of execution it will be there in smaller size so it will occupy less chip area and as it occupies less chip area on a single chip you can have many other functions right and you will be observing because of this core of arm is occupying very less area many other features can be provided like timer adc dac io port even you can use co processor in a single chip as well as you can have direct memory access in a single chip so many other features that you can integrate along with arm processor as arm is occupying less area because of it is there based on risk design philosophy so my dear students risk design philosophy that is there based on load and store it will be there based on execution of program with respect to resistors here there will be few addressing modes but my dear students because of parallel execution with efficient pipelining you will be observing execution will be very fast it will take few time only for execution of program compared to sysc in sysc you will be observing issues are there regarding branch instruction execution in which pipeline is not efficient here your pipelining will be efficient why the reason is it will be having same size of instructions so parallel execution will be easy fetch decode execute for three stage pipeline fetch decode and execute all three steps are having equal time period right so in parallel we can have that execution and you can have efficient execution of program there are many other things that you need to know like when it comes to conditional execution at that time arm is supporting all the instructions with conditional execution and because of that you will be avoiding branch right branch comes when you don't have many conditional instructions 
like when you see 8085 8086 with intel there were many branch in program why the reason is it was not supporting all the instruction as a conditional instruction but with arm all the instructions can be conditional instruction so you'll be avoiding branch and as if you avoid the branch you will be having efficient pipelining pipeline flushing is required only when branch is happening right so here you don't need to have branch prediction algorithm three stage pipeline is there if branch is coming only three stage that you need to flush right if long pipeline is there in that case you will have to flush many data but for three stage you don't need to worry about that much right so i think now it is clear to you how risk design philosophy is there i hope it is clear to you thank you so much for watching this video